Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is a video that I have not done ever before, actually. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, I do not really do news videos on my channel that much, but, but since I have such a passion for the Battlefield series, and a lot of you guys, I think, really need to know this, um, just, um, today, actually, um, Wednesday, 23rd of July, 2014, 8.59 a.m., EA announced that Battlefield Hardline and Dragon Age Inquisition, both two games that is com supposed to come out this year, 2014, it's actually going to be delayed. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition will be delayed. It, it was supposed to be October 10th, but um, it's coming out November 18th now. And uh, some of you guys not like Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't personally know what it is. It, it, I know it's a video game, but I don't really play it. I don't at all. But uh, the thing that is a real sh some can be a real shocker for most people i know it was for me at the start battlefield hardline the new title that's supposed to come out around this christmas so if you guys like pre-ordered it for a christmas gift or something you may be a little disappointed but battlefield hardline is yes it was delayed to be in quotes early 2015 date so that, well, it means that EA or DICE or Visceral has no new multiplayer shooter games for this Christmas, unfortunately. But, um, if you guys think about it harder, you this can come out as a really good thing for the future and long term. Uh, I'm getting this information directly from the metro.co.uk article from EA. I'll leave a link in the description for it down below. But, uh, yeah, um, the reason now, some of you guys may be disappointed, but, um, j Honestly, I'm talking about the Battlefield Hardline here. I think it is a good thing that Battlefield Hardline was delayed because um, they they said that they wanted to make the single player in this game a lot more important, a lot more, you know, special than the other Battlefield games. Because before the Battlefield single player, it was meh, it was okay. The real reason people really wanted to do is to unlock new weapons and stuff like that. But they really wanted to add some innovation to this game. So, Oh, they want to add a true cops and robbers experience to the Battlefield Hardline full release. And they feel that with feedback they've had from closed beta and YouTubers going to try out the game and giving constructive feedback, they wanted to have, they needed more time to innovate the game even more. So, uh, maybe it may come as a little disappointment, but honestly, I think in the long term, it's going to be a really, really good thing. And plus, since uh, the October to November period is a crazy time, P games are getting released like like rapid fire. Not not really, but it, usually the uh, it's Christmas time, so they really need to get new. They really want new games out, and they want to have the competition. But since it's going to be an early 2015 game, there there aren't too many games coming out in 2015 as of yet, early 2015. So I guess they're going to have a little advantage because once all the new games coming out from October and November are kind of lowering the craze and the excitement is finished then we'll have a new multiplayer shooter which will have much better multiplayer from constructive feedback much better time and because on um, single player because everyone knows what happened to battlefield hard uh, battlefield 4 they released a rushed game battlefield 4 that was buggy had glitches and no one really liked the experience of it but i hope ea and dice and visceral which is i think visceral is the main developer for the game but EA can learn their lesson and have further development on the game, which means if it's delayed, it's not too much of a bad thing. It might be a bad thing short term, but in long term for the future of the company and market. And like, if you want guys want to have a better non-buggy experience, delaying the game, it was a pretty good move in my opinion. It might not be for your opinion if you pre-ordered the game, I'm really sorry, but honestly, um, I, may, I, I will get the game later on. I will not get it like first week or first month. Um, because, well, I, I don't have the money to get Ashley, but that doesn't matter. They will have, a, you guys will have a less buggy experience. It will be unlike Battlefield 4 because, honestly, um, if they delay the game, right, then they'll have more time so that they can push Hardline its innovation further and it'll feel like a true cops and robbers experience, as they said. So, um, if you, they, they will try not to repeat history by doing the same thing they did with Battlefield 4. Hope they learned the lesson, but I think this, in my opinion, this is a, a pretty good thing. Uh, what's your opinion, guys, on the topic? Leave it down in the comments below. I hope, I really want to know your guys' opinions on this. If you guys don't like it, if you guys do like it, whatever. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, it's kind of a, a shocker, but I think it's a good thing for all of us. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one, and further news about the Hardline will be coming on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys.
Peace out.